Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jimron, and today we're gonna try to figure out when the world is Deep Rock Galactic. It is a multiplayer survival resource gathering MMO action first person shooter anything you want it is a lot of things but we'll get to that in a second it is developed by ghost ship games and it is uh, out on steam and multiple other stores so let's see what we got options uh, got a field of view which i always love this is my favorite thing in every single game tutorials i need these uh, they kind of help out i'm still new to the game uh, head bob i turned off almost because it kind of makes you a little bit dizzy you can uh, adjust the controls a great deal of uh, customization you can do you can pretty much just uh, customize anything you want in this which is great to see audio ui great for those that want to be immersed and not want to have to worry about seeing their health bar graphics you don't get much you get a few things but not much as you saw and you will see in a second the game is not which are three levels of graphics but it's still nice to look at game does support ultra wide resolution which is great windowed full screen you can do whatever you want v-sync i have g-sync so it doesn't matter what i put here you have uh, full control over your um, max fps you can go all the way up to 244 if you wish or down to 30. that is uh, pretty nice to see an indie developer do this meanwhile you have a master chief collection with either unlimited or 60. Uh, I digress so what is this game well you can choose from uh, four different characters you have the engineer we've uh, i've been playing for a while he has a shotgun and he has a platform that he can raise he can build turrets i love turrets in every single game so most of the time i always pick the people that have turrets uh, and uh, he has a rocket launcher which is pretty good you have the driller he is imperative to have in a team because as you'll see hopefully in the game soon he uh, as you can see on the window there too he can dig through walls very quickly and he can use those drills against the monsters, but primarily he's going to be using his flamethrower, because who wouldn't be? You have a charge, and you have an axe that you can hit him with. It's pretty fun. You have the gunner. He has a zip line. He has a minigun. He has a revolver. What else do you want? He is the heavy. And then you have the scout. The scout is important. He has a zip line. He has a regular automatic rifle. Uh, and he also has a... Uh, shotgun but mostly he has a flare gun the flare gun can light up the the dark caves that this game has i think having a scout and a driller is really important to the team uh, but for when the horde attacks you i've found so far that the engineer with his turrets Let's can play the be smart for once, huh? a blessing so this is your main hub area. You can spend some time here and kind of dick around, but there's not much to it. But this is where you're going to find the upgradeability terminals. You can do cosmetics, which I never bother with. You can upgrade your equipment, like your armor and your, your guns, your mini guns, and so forth. You can trade minerals, which uh, I cannot do that yet. And you can modify your drone. I don't know what this little guy does yet, but he gives you some bonuses, which is cool. Let's try to get into a mission, show you a little bit of the gameplay. This is the mission terminal. The blinking thing is going to be the, the next main mission that you, that you should be worrying about. And it's this, the game can get very unforgiving and very difficult. So I've always played it with other people. Finding a team right now, I've been lucky. They're at four minutes into the game. We're not gonna bother too much with it, but finding a game can be quite difficult. If you have friends, 
I suggest you play it with them. Do not play by yourself. You're not gonna like it. If you play by yourself, identify targets make and exterminate. Sure that you, That's how it's done. Uh, host so that other people can join you. Uh, if you join mid battle and you're in this drop ship, that's pretty cool. And wow, we, we are in the middle of the battle. Which is uh, every mission has a different objective that you have to do. Up. And it looks like this one, it is to collect 15 Apoka Blues. And I'm guessing this boss fight is just something that... Uh, is that the secondary of this? Use your pickaxe against the enemies, it doesn't do good damage. Oh, man. Well, this is embarrassing, but this is an indication of how unforgiving the game can get. Now, right off the bat, I realized in the first game that I played, there is friendly fire. And they, people generally do not tolerate friendly fire in this game attention you minor inbound nice they're reviving me which is nice we got a third or fourth person and he is the gunner we've got the driller here which is amazing this is the little drone in which you uh deposit all the minerals that you collect and you can throw a flare to light up the the area now back to the minerals what do they look like? Well, let's try to find some. Nothing here yet. Platform a guy, place. which is great. Because I can trip it. One platform, ready to use. Let's see what we got. This is a fun little game. It, it doesn't look crazy good. There's no intense graphical fidelity but the art style is very satisfactory uh, it has a low polygon count which makes the game run very easily i'm sitting at 120 fps because of my limit which is great i'm gonna try to stick around with my teammates because this game is definitely played better together um so most of the missions are gonna have you collect x amount of uh Guess I'm gonna have to carry this. Uh, most of the game will have you collect X amount of minerals, X amount of eggs, uh, this and that. Those are gonna be your main missions, but throughout you're gonna be mining multiple other. Uh, can I put it in here? No. Okay. So it's not gonna work. Out. You can mine multiple other resources that you can use later on as currency to upgrade your stuff, so make sure that you do that before you end the mission. So this guy is drilling the ball of the spider, which is good. How many guys are those really supposed all right let's try to find some of those minerals to see what they look like it does have a map overlay if you hit tab you can see where you guys are at and you can zoom out all the way that blue thing is the drop pod and it usually will show you what your objective is but it doesn't do it right now because it's glowing kind of like Friendly! the drop pod how much mining is this thing clean Well done, you're repaired. Alright. We are moving through, which is nice. 
You can jump onto a lever. I made a platform. Access provided. Wow. I am way higher than I should be. Uh, towards the end of the game, you're going to be having to run back to your escape pod. While you're running back to the drop pod right there, you're going to be deep into the game, uh, the game's map. So it's going to take you a little bit of time. You only have five minutes to get back to the drop pod. After that, well, you lose because you're, you're stuck here. You're abandoned. Uh, this is where the driller ma uh, comes comes into play. Because wherever you are, you can just drill through. And it doesn't matter if it's one of those easy to dig through terrains or this kind of terrain where it takes uh, the mules more are heading back. Follow them and let's get that drop pod fixed. Remember, you can always deposit on the side just, uh, of the drop pod. If you hit Alt or Control, all rather, mules are secured. Uh, now to get the pod to working, first establishing a proper connection between the pod and the space rig. Set up the uplink, and it can also show you where the drop pod is. And this also analyzes what you're looking at. If you're looking at some minerals, then it will tell you what kind of a mineral it is. Uh, so the driller, they just, uh, just drill through to the drop pod, and you don't have to worry about it. Uplink ready. Triangulation initiated. Do not uh, leave the triangulation the zone, or we will lose the connection. We only got one shot at this. And that's why I said it's really imperative that you have a driller in Roger your that. In Supplies your team. are coming. Because it just uh, pretty much ensures, guarantees the escape. I've put down some turrets. I've upgraded my turrets to be able to do it in real time. Their ammo does run out, as you can see. It has 90 ammo. Help! Please hurry! I can't feel my fears! Help! Please! Press Hello away. and goodbye! Bastards! The guys are back. Need a hand there! Our scout hasn't been doing a good job so far. He hasn't been lighting up the area. Stay in this area, but every every <laughs> monster that dies releases a poisonous gas. Found out the hard way. I was trying to survive a horde attack, a swarm attack rather, and my both nether monsters everything. And Fuel cells have arrived. I had not Get realized them set up. that was the reason why. This would have gone a little bit faster if my guys were helping. Me. Say for uh, the amount of money that this game cost, I got it on sale on Humble Bundle. Fuel cells charging. Um, Stay close to keep them operational. We're it is a pretty good value. I've uh, really been enjoying it, and it's challenging. It's a it's a game that you have to play with friends. I try to play by myself. Usually, I don't like playing all that very much, but it's impossible. Well, think again. What's where you're shooting, moron? 
Yep, I just got Fuel cells out 50%. Fuel cells at seventy-five percent. You're almost there. Can you please hurry up? I'm gonna kill you. Uh, did more damage to me than it did to them. Thankfully, you do have shields, and they do they do work. I survive the mission. Really you need to stay the fun factor of this game is amazing. It is challenging and it will keep you on your toes. Full show. Luckily, you do get some experience, some rewards, even if you fail the mission, but it is not nearly enough. That's a cool little animation for uh, this is Alright, there you have it guys. This is uh, Deep Rock Galactic. It is an unforgiving game that will keep you on your toes. It is an explore a cave exploration game well, in which limbs. you it's what when gather you resources to complete the mission, but also gather a little bit more resources on the side. Uh, they are shared with the team from what I've uh, understood, which is nice. So it doesn't really matter. You don't have to kill someone when they try to gather the gold because you want it. You really don't have to do that. You can just let them do it or help them because you both get equal amount which is nice so it is available on steam for i believe eight dollars or your regional equivalent it's also available on the humble the decorations Bundle. are meant to be enjoyed I with your eyes the epic not your feet. Store. i'm not quite certain about that one but i think it is too and green man gaming obviously so there you go guys i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time Thank you.